Hey there, Virgo. How are you? It's your force fairy here. Nice to see you again. Well, Virgo, this is your mid-month read. We'll take a look what the Bullery of Virgos are up to. Starting off with an oracle card from your guide. So let's take a look at what your guides would like you to know, and that's going to kind of set the tone of the read. So, Virgo, what are the messages that the guides have? I just want one for Virgo. Let's take a look right there. Oh, I haven't seen this one. Death is an illusion. Well, 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 Virgo. I'd like to see what the tarot has to say about this because it's so true. We are infinite souls experiencing a human ex well, having a human experience we all signed up for it they say earth has a reputation of being a hard place to to exist and for star seeds or for souls that haven't experienced for us that have been here for a while <laughs> i kind of feel that my soul's as a Capricorn son, I've been here for a while. I'm not going to lie. But I keep coming back for more. For more lessons to be learned. All right. So let's see, Virgo. Death is an illusion. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. First card out. Temperance. Oh, look at that, Virgo. Look at the majors already coming out for you. Temperance is, and especially with this particular, in this deck, which is my main deck, this is about mediation, finding a middle ground, uh, not going to extremes from hot and cold. We have both hot and cold here. This is really finding a balance, a, a happy medium. And maybe you're doing that for others, whether it be at home, family, workplace, you're finding that, that you're the media, I'm feeling a mediation, like you're a mediator. That which crosses you is the star. The star is a wish fulfillment. It's hope. It's, it's a loving, um, and I mentioned star seeds coming here from other galaxies, other dimensions, other realms to experience this earthly life. Um, this is what helps or hinders you. And I definitely feel that it's helping you. How can the star hinder you really? The Six of Pentacles is your higher self. And again, with this Temperance card, it's very much balanced. But when it says Reciprocity Avenue, Virgo, you for you in particular, I have to say, this is you learning how to receive. You're givers. You're givers. But if you do not learn how to receive, even if it's mediocrity, even if it's mediocre, someone just did a half thing for you. Like, oh... Here, Virgo, I, I got you a coffee. It's not what you like, but I mean, I just brought the cream and sugar. You can do it yourself. They got you a coffee, right? And in, instead of saying, no, I only drink cappuccino, this, that, and frappuccinos or whatever. No, thank you. I don't want that. Accept it. And this is, this is even if you don't drink it, Virgo, accepting someone's kindness will then um, tell the universe yep virgo's willing to receive yep virgo the giver is willing to receive and can receive and is learning how to receive that's what i'm really picking up from the six of pentacles as your higher self's message your focus and foundation is the king of cups this is real emotional security maturity this is emotions being able to i'm hearing it being able to control your emotions as well again tempering your emotions in the recent past the nine of pentacles independence avenue is what it says and this is your independence this is your with or without a, a, a partner a company a family i'm good uh, virgo's good on their own and this is what's making you happy look at this in the near future the sun happiest card in the deck virgo i'm loving it and it could very well be because your bank account's good. This, this stability and security of the Nine of Pentacles is really giving you freedom to enjoy. Um, how you see yourself is getting more creative with the Knight of Cups. And other people see you as the Page of Cups. This is beautiful. I'm loving, I'm loving this, this 
cup energy that's we've got cups and pentacles all over this right your hope and your fear is the world an ending to a victorious ending to one stage in your life into the next and the page of wands enthusiasm excitement and it really brings me back to this sun this little page of wands is excited he's enthusiastic they're ready to go they're ready to to travel to take on anything and that's the uh, potential outcome that which you might not see virgo let's put that there is the two of cups that which you might not see this could be leo for some of you you could be with a sagittarius you could be with an aquarius a scorpio there's there's a lot of love on this is your uh, energy with the nine of pentacles that's you all day long death is an illusion this brings us back to your time here virgo what's your life's purpose are you here to discover are you here to learn of course you are you're virgo and just knowing that death is an illusion that it is something that not to be afraid of, not to hold you back from going places and doing things and trying. King of Wands, look at that. That is strong Leo energy. I'm going to put it right beside that sun there. And finding balance. This could also be your ego, Virgo, where you need to find emotional balance. I've got the King of Cups and the King of Wands here. For some of you, these are two very influential men in your life, whether it be a father, a brother, a, a lover, a business partner. These are very influential um, male figures in your life. And the Queen of Swords. I'm loving this energy. This is uh, Libra energy, cardinal air. But it also, when it comes to you Virgos that work in the um, business realm, that work in the... Uh, legal realms this is this because she takes a real close look at contracts at uh information at gathers information she's analytical she's uh the queen of swords is a beautiful energy that when it's paired up with virgo this is this is definitely virgo's intelligence virgo's uh analytical uh i'm i'm just gonna say superpower like if you've ever worked with a virgo have a Virgo in your family, have any pre predominant. See, I don't have Virgo in my chart. There's no planets in my Virgo house. So uh, with a Mars and Gemini as I have, I can be all over the place, right? Uh, with ideas and then I don't follow through. Oh, that's a great idea. If I don't write it down, it's gone. Um, Virgos, this queen of swords is really speaking to your ability to assess, to analyze information and then to make decisions. The contract queen. This is what I call her. The six of pentacles, your higher self. Look at that. An opportunity. I mean, you know what? I'm going to put it right above this queen of swords because she is finding the opportunities and taking advantage of them. And the ten of swords. You know what? I am going to put this here. Reason being is because I think you're moving. You've made a decision. It's been a tough one. And do you see that sun that's in behind the shoulder there of this figure? That's this sun of the future. So I feel this is of the past. You had to cut something off. You had to make it legal with right being right above the Queen of Swords. You are ending something to begin something new with the sun and the Ace of Pentacles. And it's going to be very, very, very abundant, especially with the star crossing your temperance. Beautiful energy here. The King of Cups is your focus and foundation. Look at you manifesting this. I'm gonna put this because he's he is a manifester and knows exactly what he wants. And the lovers, look at this. You've manifested this. Look at this. And with maturity. Look at this. Wow. Virgo, this is you with the magician, ruled by Mercury. Um, and with the, I'm gonna say the maturity of the king of cups he makes not just head decisions not just heart decisions he's my balanced king and he finds 
that when he makes a decision and he goes through all of the, the information, the facts, the figures, and then he goes into his heart. How does he feel about this move? How does he feel about this ending? How does he feel about this new beginning? Oh, I feel good. I feel sun good. Well, then let's do it. This could be for some of you, you have found a brand new love. It could be a Leo for some of you. Um, and this is a very powerful relationship. And for others, it's a decision. And for when it comes to a choice, this is the choice card. When it comes to a choice, you might have to end something to start something new. So let's just see in the recent past, the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles, look at this, finding a soulmate with the six of cups. And there you are. I am going to put the six of cups right beside that two of cups, the soulmates card, that which you might not see. You might not even be aware that your best friend is your soulmate, that is a, you've fallen in love, that you have known each other for years. And you've gone deep within with the hermit card to listen to your wisdom, to tap into your um, emotional maturity, your deep wisdom that your soul knows because death is an illusion right you've been here for some of you you've been here before i find with a lot of the earth signs they, they're they're repeat <laughs> they're, they're repeat human um <laughs> they, they, they like their soul suits they come back and have a different soul suit and kind of go let's do this again what am i going to learn this time right what 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 is it that i'm here to learn what's my purpose Right? And for a lot of you, it is to assist in the, um, the awakening of the collective and the, um, the raising of the vibration of, of the collective. And, and that's a real, that's why you're back. That's why you're here. Maybe you went off into different galaxies for a couple lifetimes or I don't even know. And you're back. There's a lot of people that are back, a lot of light workers that are back to help with the ascension. Now, into the sun, right here. The near future, the justice card, and the star. Look at this. Okay, okay, okay. Virgo. This, this really speaks to me, again, with the balance of the temperance card and now the justice card. What you put out there is what you get back. There is a cause and effect. Um, energy with the, the Justice card. And when you look into your joy, what makes you feel joy? If you're, let's say you're working in the, um, the Justice field, right? What, whatever that means to you. This could very well mean that you change firms, that you um, change directions. Maybe you are a lawyer for the defense and you want to be into prosecution, this type of thing. Uh, maybe you're into family law and it's really bringing you down. It's, it saddens, it breaks your heart, you know, to see kids involved or whatever, whatever. And you go into corporate or you go into, um, I don't know, environmental, whatever that means to you, or even internet. There's, a, there's, there's new avenues opening up in, in internet, um, legislation, law. You know, we up in Canada know all about it. Having said that, this is what's making you happy to find what it is, your purpose, your service to mankind. This, this is Aquarius energy, but here, moving into the age of Aquarius, the golden age is what they're calling it. And this is what's making you happy is finding something that you really love to do. And if that's an illegal, oh, we need more Virgos in, in that industry, right? In that, in those fields. How you see yourself, the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. Look at this, Virgo. Oh, this is your energy all day long. And then we got Capricorn, the Devil. This is mastering your creativity, mastering your money-making skills. We've gone from the Nine of Pentacles and you're clarifying that Nine of Pentacles. This is in the minors, the Eight, Nine, and Ten is Virgo energy, right? And there you are, clarifying it with the hermit. Now we go to the, the very um, creative Knight of Cups. 
and used, is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles and the Devil. Now, I do have to say for some of you, I'm going to say it, Virgo. I was, I was going to censor myself, but I'm not. Don't make any deals with the Devil, no matter how many millions he offers you. Just say. I also see this as you're going to leave a legacy with your creativity with this Ten of Pentacles and don't be fearful. Don't let doubt, don't let perfectionism, don't let anyone tell you any different. Don't fight with yourself. I also see, you can see the, the Devil's uh, face here, but if you take a look at the, these yellow, these are two images of people or, or of faces yelling at each other. You could be fighting, battling yourself internally, just saying, and this could be your perfectionism. This could be your your um, negative self-talk, your doubt. I'm really feeling doubt with this today that you can even make ten, ten of Pentacles. Yes, you can. This is legacy. What is your legacy? If you're a young Virgo, you got all the time in the world because death is an illusion. <laughs> How other people see you? Page of Cups. Communication. You could be going into a, the communication field and really learning how to communicate and moving into the light. Look at that. Six of Swords is making plans to move. You could be moving from a different city, state, province, country even. Um, and then we have the world right above that. So you could be going into different countries by all means. Communicating. And I'm, I'm really feeling, don't let, um, like, because this is fast communication coming in. Do you see how these uh, wands are lit up by the sun? That's setting. I almost feel that with the Ten of Swords and the sun being in behind that shoulder, is that you are communicating that you're, you know, putting an end to, let's say, one um, job or giving your you notice for something new and making the plans to move into that direction. The world is your hope and your fear. There's that little page of wands, which is where we end. Communicating the excitement that you have to maybe go to a different country. Yeah, to experience the world, to do some traveling, to work in a different uh, country. You could be a teacher that teaches English and going into, I don't know, different countries to teach English to, um, in schools, what have you. Beautiful. Let's go to this page of wands, which is right above the star. This is what's going to your enthusiasm, your love of whatever you do, the love of, and I'm hearing, of the world, of the ascension, of helping others feel good about themselves. That's the sun energy. Look at you. What's making you happy is taking that leap of faith on you. Your, your money's good, Virgo. When you have the nine of pentacles, the ten of pentacles, and the ace of pentacles, the ace brings you to the ten. It always starts with the ace. And the Eight of Cups. You are emotionally leaving and brings me back down to this King of Cups. That which did not serve you. Which, and, and I say that and then I, I want to switch it up and say that which does not align with you. It might have at one time aligned with you that you were all about it. And now because of this King of Cups, because of this maturity, because you have discovered your own magic, you're taking a leap of faith into your joy and happiness, and whoever's going to follow you does. If they don't, good luck to you, because this is where Virgo's going. Um, two of Cups, that which you might not see, is that you might have been um, disappointed in this Two of Cups. And in this particular uh, deck, I only see one cup. Traditionally, um, it's the crying over spilt milk card, and uh, the dark cloak figure is looking at three cups, insinuating or um, for a reader uh, maybe saying there was a three party and turning the back like you've turned your back on the two of cups so it's interesting that that which you might not see is that you're not really seeing the value of your partner maybe your 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 new partner work a lot and and you kind of just like pass by in the night you might sleep in the same bed but you can't remember the last time you went on vacation you did something fun you had and so this is just what you might not see, Virgo, is that you've got to focus in, not on what you don't have, on what hasn't happened and what can't happen, but what you have. And be grateful and gracious and thankful because you got the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, Virgo, you're, you're good. You're sitting pretty. Look at this. Look at this spread. Look at my table. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, I see two Nine 
six. Let's get some angel numbers on this. Two, nine, six. Love is yours, Virgo. You got the two of cups and the lover's card and the king of cups. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. And we got the star twice. Yes. Start by seeing yourself with loving eyes. That's really the message of this read today, Virgo, is see yourself through loving eyes. I see 917 and 914. Let's go to those two. 917, your angels are opening the doors to new beginnings right there with the Ace of Pentacles and opportunities for you. Embrace change. This is beautiful. And 914, make space in your day to deep to dive deep within and invite your angels to come close to you. That's the hermit card right there. You are standing by, ready to support, they, your angels, are standing by, ready to support you on your journey and your spiritual development. Beautiful energy. And the last one I see, let's do 621. I see 621, Virgo. And we'll wrap this up. Your relationship with yourself has improved radically. And you are in a miraculous space of self-respect now. Beautiful. That's the queen of swords right there. And the king together, those energies. Know you deserve this. With that ten of pentacles there, know that you deserve this. And that's what I see for you, Virgo. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your force fairy. Bye for now.